All right, the figure shows the graph of the polar function r equals f of theta, where f of theta is 4 cos 2 theta. So r is 4 cos 2 theta. Why they couldn't have just wrote it out that way, written it out that way, I don't know. And the polar coordinate system between 0 and 2 pi, which is usually the case. So uh, at 0, you probably start here. You curl your way around. You curl your way around. You curl your way around 2 pi. Okay, that's usually how uh, cosine of something theta works. And the reason why this goes out to 4 is because that is 4. All right, so it labels, there are five points labeled A, B, C, D, and E. So there's C, E is right in the middle. There's A, B, and D. Everything's out of, out of place. If the domain of F is restricted to, oh, okay, so now we're restricting things from 0 to half a pi. If the whole thing is supposed to be 2 pi, and now I only care about half of a pi, that is one fourth of my graph. Okay? And you know that again from the unit circle stuff. You should know that if this were zero, that's a pi, that's half a pi. So I only care about uh, a quarter of this picture. So if I start here at C, which is what I do, I'm going to only care about two halves of a rose petal. So the portion of the given graph remains blah, blah, blah. one of those pieces is the portion of the graph in quadrant one C to E. That makes sense. So this would represent one half of a rose petal, but a quarter must represent the other half. Now, when we go like this, you're not, it would not make sense to make the infinity symbol because then what you're saying is I am creating a pattern that is the infinity symbol and there's no way that you would go up or down. So the other guy has to be from E to D. Okay, so that's what I want. If it starts out at C to E, that's one eighth and then one quarter of the graph is from E to D. So the portion of the graph in quadrant one from E to B, no, that would have you go boink, that doesn't make sense. The portion of the graph in quadrant two from E to A, so you would, I guess, bump. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. The portion of the graph in quadrant three, now we're talking from E to D. Nope. Boink. And the portion of the graph in quadrant three from E to D, that seems to be that the guy that I want. So there you go. Yeah, C is going to try to trick you up because it's going to want you to think that it can be this infinity symbol. But like I said, if you're doing C, then what you're saying is it goes like this and then it goes like this. And then so we're expecting that infinity pattern to repeat. And by doing this a bunch of times, you're not going to hit the bottom and the top rose petals. So that kind of doesn't make sense. You need to hit all of the rose petals. And the only way that does that is if you curl down here.